Hey YouTube, this is Mike with the DTF Superstore and today I'm just going to briefly talk about white underbase and some of the options you'll see with it. I already have some artwork dropped in, so I'm gonna right click, open my properties, go down to color layer and profiling options. So with direct to film, most likely you're just gonna stick with this underbase option. Coverage under base and highlight are more for direct to garment printing and you're not going to use none because you want your powder to adhere to the white ink. So first option is under base strength, which it's talking about the white under black. Uh, default, here we have 50%. I know some people will say that they prefer it to be a little higher. That's not a problem. There's lots of options. So let's just put this up to 80%. Now again, that's the white ink that's printing underneath black. Next option is maximum ink. I believe by default, CAD link is around 70, but you can crank this up to 100. That's gonna give you more white base and that's going to make more vibrancy on your colors. Uh, choke, so choke is, as you can see here, it says stop white under base peeking out. So what this does is put a small choke around your artwork so you would not see white peeking out the edges. Uh, I like to use somewhere between three and five. You can go all the way up to 20. Uh, so let's just put this at four for now. Uh, and I'm going to jump into Illustrator right now and show you a little more of an in-depth preview of what this looks like. All right, I'm over in Illustrator now because I just want to demonstrate something and there's a pretty easy way to show you that inside of Illustrator. This doesn't have anything to do with setting up the file. This is just to demo what's going on when you use the choke feature. So here's my print. This is to size underneath the colors here is going to be white. Pixel for pixel underneath will be white. I'm clicking this off and on. You can see it's the exact same shape. It's just got the white underneath, no choke whatsoever. Now, if I was to apply a choke, what's gonna happen is that it's gonna pull back everywhere on the colored piece of artwork just a little bit. Two pixels, three pixels, four pixels, whatever you set it. So now I've done that and when I turn off the colors, you can see that my white is pulled back. And I'm gonna zoom in, and you're really gonna be able to see that now. When I turn off the colors, see my white is pulled back about three or four pixels. So this is because you may get white pressing out as you're heat pressing, and if you don't want that or you see it happening, you can just choke your artwork back and avoid that when we're determining where we want our underbase set at, there's a few things to consider. We want to make sure, of course, our powder is adhering. That way everything sticks to the garment nicely and the print. We want to, of course, make sure that our print looks good and vibrant and especially on black or colored garments. And we also want to make sure that the feel of the transfer is something that we like. Some people are more picky about this than others, so we just wanna make sure that it's a feel that everyone likes. Um, and then as far as this bottom, treat all semi-transparent as opaque. We usually don't mess with that. Uh, it's the way the white is generated for semi-transparent areas, but this likely is not very helpful for direct-to-film, so we don't usually use this option. And an easier way, and probably my preferred way to access these white base settings is just using the color adjust button on the bottom here. So if you click that, you're gonna have a different looking prompt, but most of the same setting options. The first thing to note is these radio buttons. You should be using photo or graphics. Graphics is going to be for your typical vector and raster arts and it's gonna give a little kick to the colors. Photo would be if you don't want that kick because adding that color punch may offset the skin tones, so that's when you would use that. 
Uh, otherwise, you have the same settings here with your under base, which is our max ink, our choke, our strength with all the options. And the settings here are the same as if you accessed it the other way. So changing it in one spot will change it in both. So I hope this gives a little bit of a better understanding for how the under base and CAD link works. Uh, make sure you subscribe to our page because we're trying to crank out these videos for some learning content and get you more familiar in CAD link. Thanks again.